Oh my god. Why did you console me? Why did you let me die each time? Tell me why! If you truly love me, why did you die with me? Why did you make me suffer all alone? Don't you love me? Why are the demons after me? Is it because of you? Why must I suffer because of you? What about me? Where is my freedom? Ola, forgive me. Never. Uh-oh. She looks like my ex-girlfriend, I'm not gonna lie. So here, we've got Paula. And every single one of these doors is gonna be completely random. Grab that eyeball that we got before. Hopefully you can find the right room. So, what? That was the right one. Wow, first time? I think there's another one. Oh shit, we're gonna have to restore health again. So we're gonna need to... Wait a second, we already got it though, didn't we? So okay, now that that's done on our first try, we have to shoot our wings. And once that's done, um, this is why you want the tea there, to shoot her wings with. And once they turn red, um, you're gonna wanna shoot the red ones. So lock onto them and then let it rip, okay? Let it rip. There are going to be other opportunities that are going to present itself with getting ammo, but at this point, uh, try and use a lot of the ammo here because this is going to be one of the more annoying ones to get because I'm not going to explain this very second, but anyway, this is a little plot twist. We are fighting Paula, and obviously it's not the real Paula, but I mean, sometimes I like to think it is, but it isn't, so. Oh, and that did kind of a lot, so. Um, let's see now. We got, uh, come on. Lock on just a little bit. Quit shitting out <laughs> demons. That'd be very nice of you. All right, and uh, there we go. Right. Oh, duh. So that one you kind of want to roll. Uh, I think we have our absinthe equipped, right? Yeah, that's, that's good. <laughs> we have our absinthe. We're good. All right, so yeah, but you guys weren't expecting that for those of you who were playing. It got kissed attack. I didn't know that existed. Let's go ahead and use a... So she's got the gust, the gale. God, that doesn't look like the the DQ Leaf attack from Wind Waker, does it? I mean, I don't know about you guys, but it's not very useful to use that. This is why you want the teether. Or the dentist, you guys know what I mean. Now I'm too used to saying teether. <laughs> I'm going to be re-watching this. I'm gonna, I should have like a wrong name count for everything I do, like wrong weapon count. But it's way too late to even do that. I've only... Ah, oh, God. Okay. It just turns us around. Well, I'm zoopity bop and... Let's go ahead and uh, dentist it up a little bit now. Now that we uh, just need her wings. They'll turn black once they die, but oh, god damn it, I still got hurt. All right, come on. She's She takes so much more damage on this difficulty already. Like, I remember having to just put a full clip into her, and that would have been it. So, all right, let's kill this guy. Ah, oh, god damn it. All right, so... Alright, there, die, please. Die, Plox, please. I don't want to die here. I don't want to die. I don't want to die in a hospital. I don't want to die in a hospital. I don't want to die in a hospital. You gotta take me back as, uh, as uh, her first wing is already. There we go. Oh, never mind. I thought we got her. She did. Oh! When she kissed us, I guess. And with that, okay, we got her. With that, you guys. Wait a minute, we just destroyed your wings. Why are they white again? Racist! Garcia is so determined. And wait, we've got a wall of darkness as well as fighting her. So this is what you're going to want to use all of your ammo for. Just dedicate it to attacking all of her red spots right there. And with that said and done, you guys, get ready. We're going to use our final upgrade. Oh. <sighs> And now that that's done, we got the achievement high in Las Vegas. Now, it says 8.03 in the morning, but it is actually 8, or no, 5. <laughs> it's actually 8. No, this is only, it's three hours ahead, so recover all available red gems in the game. We got more than that, but god damn. Now, let's just take this moment to go over the achievements. Uh, so here are these ones really easily. Um, so defeat enemies, uh, it's just very simple. Uh, that one kind of goes without saying. Um, then all these are just you know really easy and I like this one <laughs> I defeated the last big boss and there's actually that now that's a big fucking gun that is actually the first achievement that has a, like the F word in the 
in the title of the thing. So, so here's Colleen Grimm, Guillotine, and then the other one, which was Maras, uh, Elliot Beast Boss. Uh, let's see what else. So just defeat enemies with the T. It's not that hard. Defeat Maras Grimm. I don't know why this one is so early, but because I thought she was the more old, eldest. So defeat George Human Boss. So human form. And then here we've got George Beast Boss. And then the final achievement, of course, would be finding all chapters on hard difficulty. So, sorry to break the mundane or the non mundanity with even more, but um, enemies are going to be coming from behind us all the while. So, and we can get caught in the darkness. So, be careful. You're going to want to concentrate all your ammo on killing her. There's a bunch of absinthe in here we can actually grab. So, our health is at its maximum, but we just got hurt there. So, all right, come on. Since we're super powerful, hopefully, all right, there we go. So let's see, the music in here is pretty epic too. It's not really that great of like boss music, but I guess, whoa, in its own sense, it's okay. So I guess that's a ninja dude. So the, yeah, god damn it. All right, let's drink absinthe. So it's still restoring a shit ton of stuff. All right, we're gonna ignore that guy right now. Hopefully get these ones really fast. Just come on. As long as we're moving, he'll have a little bit of trouble getting us. Oh, oh, we don't wanna be in the darkness <laughs> at all. All right, we might just, we're just gonna have to go forward and pick some more ammo up, but that's pretty much it. Um, I think you can actually use the, uh, I don't think there's an end to this, uh, just saying, so. All right, this guy is obviously being stupid. Um, I don't think there's an end to this. I think it just keeps going on forever, so don't want that to spoil anything. And come on, more absence. <laughs> I'm gonna down that shit, all right. So it looks like she's almost dead, and she's making the heart there. Be careful, or she's gonna kiss us. All right. All right, I think that hurt her. Uh, so, oh, whoa, I'm going through the blood like it ain't no big deal, and I'm kind of just trying to concentrate on her. All right. All right. So, let's keep doing this. I, I want to get more teether ammo, but... Don't kiss us. Don't kiss us. We don't want your kiss of death. Oh, God. Oh, he attacked us. That's it. All right. Time to bring out the teether, hopefully. All right, let's do this now. There's more ammo finally up there, but... All right, come on. Okay. God damn it. And with that, we have not killed her. Oh, God. She kissed us again. All right, half her thing is gone. All right, you guys ready for this? And believe me, this is... Ugh, come on, come on, come on. Last of the ammo. Last of the ammo. I'm trying. I'm trying, Johnson. I don't think there's an end to this, but... There we go. You guys... Welcome to the end. It's a beautiful game. Wait. Alright, you guys. It's time to confront the real real Paula once and for all but first yeah there we go beautiful all right let's go talk to her it is over I won't. the darkness is coming wait no uh oh there's no goat head wait a minute No. I love you, Garcia. I love you. Yes. I love you, Paula. Why is this happening, you guys? We're in the darkness and... Johnson, no. Drink absinthe. We have enough to last us a couple of years. Just... No. No, you guys. This is... <laughs> well, nice little loading screen to, you know, break the tension. That's depressing, you guys. <sighs> so it looks like we died in the underworld by the darkness. We were consumed. It looks like we truly did love Paul. I mean, going through the ends of the underworld and back, killing the king of the underworld, prince of darkness, whatever, in the name of love, not sung by Bono, just for her, and then eventually dying in the darkness, even though we had a huge supply of drinks to last us a lifetime, just to, just to die in the name of love. 
This is a beautiful thing. And for some reason, this loading screen is taking a very long time. Very nice. Wait. So here we are. Yes, Back at home, did. it seems. Garcia, it's you. We're together. Finally. I missed you, Angel. She still has the one gray eye. Hmm. <laughs> Are you listening? Hmm? About this weekend. Oh, yeah. Mexico. Magnifico. <laughs> Great. Let's fly to Cancun then. Spend some like quality still time here. together on the beach. Do a little intelligence gathering of our own and see if we want to settle down there. Sound good? I cannot wait to eat real Mexican food. Although, the cocineros will never be able to top this caprese. <laughs> Glad you like it. The tomatoes are organic, and the mozzarella is made from buffalo milk. I would milk. kill the world. You even before made the you harm is what is next. Well, is. I've never made note of that, but I really like that saying. Special recipe. Oh. Really? Let's see if I can guess. Why is he using a fork and he's eating two hamburgers? <laughs> Garcia, you're such a gentleman. Oh, God. I love this scene, though. I'll get it. Go ahead and pick out the hotel. <laughs> Will do. Hello? Hello? It's a weird phone. Hello? I just noticed that. You can tell so much about a man from what he puts between his buns. What? Some people play it straight with beef hamburgers. Others, I believe, go for pulled pork. And let's not forget that wonderful chicken breast. What kind of man are you, Hotspur? Who is this? In case you're wondering, my answer would unfortunately have to be none of the above. <laughs> After all, I am so much more than any man. I only throw human daddies on my grill. Just like I only throw human honeys on my bed. <laughs> Cha -cha! Garcia, you're taking too long. We're still eating. Back to your seat. Oops. <laughs> Shit. Paula, let's book that hotel fast, huh? Before they get here. Yes, let's. Uh oh, it's raining. You have no idea. They're coming, G. Uh oh. Too late to book that hotel, huh? No, no! Garcia! No! No! Here we go again. My name is Garcia Hotspur, hunter of demons. Fate has led me to fall in love with the Lord of the Underworld's mistress. His horde of minions will never stop coming to claim her. But I have sworn to strike them down, each and every one, until she is mine alone. I will take on the whole world if I must. Slay every creature in my path. Because I still see love in her eyes. And because I love killing fucking demons. Ready, G. Always. Sorry, Paula. Mexico will have to wait. Yes! And there you go, you guys. The end of the game, for real this time. Well, I said that a little too soon, but we've done it, you guys. I love this game so much. This game has such a, that was, that's such a, like, a good, like, note to end this game on. Like, this game has so many different things going for it. Like, it has so many different genres and differences and stuff like that. It's just, I don't, I don't even know what to say, but 
I think this is probably my fastest recorded LP to date. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I recorded Prince of Persia in about three days, but this one I've done in probably, I don't know, differentness, I guess. Um, this ending song is a song by, uh, fuck, I can't remember, the, the Damned, if you guys know who that band is. They're kind of like a punk band, and this is actually pretty cool. I think this song is actually called Shadows of the Damned by The Damned, and I think they, ha they have a song on Rock Band, which is pretty cool. Which is how I recognize it because that was a pretty good song too, even though not a lot of people liked it. It was like one of those deep cuts, but anyway, yeah, God, this game is pretty sweet. I enjoyed it. I, I am looking forward to a sequel. I'm not sure if Suda51 is going to do that because he's got that one cheerleading zombie game coming up as of October 27th still. I'm not exactly sure what the deets on it are too much. I, I'm not really, I don't know. I have faith in Suda51. But I'm, I'm kind of uneasy on that. So if it's good, then that's great because I'll be, you know, pleasantly surprised. You guys know that feeling, you know, never go into a movie expecting the best thing in the world. If you if you do that, then you'll always be let down because I don't know. But so this oh God, this game is just so, so awesome. I know it's not for everyone, but I for someone like me, as you guys have seen, like, you know, Dead Space and I. I don't even know. I was going to say Resident Evil. I haven't done a Resident Evil Let's Play yet. It's it's like my style of game, and it's Suda51, and I'm glad I did it. Um, I still only have eight episodes uploaded so far, but this is it's great, and I hope you guys enjoyed it because I really appreciate you guys watching it. It's It, it makes my heart so happy inside when I see you know people liking it and commenting and you know stuff like that. It's really, it's really such a pleasure to be doing this because... I mean, it's so cool to think that people actually watch my videos now, kind of. I mean, not like a whole ton, but when you see like, I mean, even like just 50 views is like amazing because you know at least someone was interested enough in clicking it regardless of whether it's because of the thumbnail or because I uploaded it because I know some of you people are subscribed because of my Rock Band account. But I don't know. Some people have found me doing this and have not had any idea of my Rock Band account, so that's pretty cool. So a pretty nice solo here oh god and just ugh. and i don't want this to spoil anything but we've all right so here's steve bloom greg ellis <laughs> and let's see if we can cam clark i don't cam clark <laughs> yeah all the people have different voices and they're all woman voices for the sister grims and then voice actor steve bloom also did the demons i forgot to mention that um he did a lot of the demons like it's kind of funny <laughs> oh god it's so funny he was also in a in No More Heroes as Dark Star, that's so funny because you can totally not hear it, so he's very talented. So the song Shadows of the Damned, performed by the Damned, and Akira Yamoka, he's the one who just wrote it. So, so there's that, and I don't really know what else there is to talk about at this ending part. There's actually one little segment that is quite possibly like the sweetest cherry on top of the blood-filled pie of Shadows of the Damned, and it's, for anyone who's played this, you guys will know. I think the this this one segment alone is a uh, Troy Baker. Why does that sound familiar? It's just, uh, it's just like, I think the video itself has like 1.5 million views, which is really funny. So hopefully that doesn't big demonic flower voice. God. Yeah. It, I hope it doesn't spoil anything, but here it is. Oh, never mind. Electronic arts. So uh, David Dermatin, a Sinjin Ben. A Steve de Rita. And it's like, holy shit, it's almost 5.30 in the morning, you guys. Joel Wade. Pff, pff, Joel Wade. Pff. Why do you get your name in the credits and in the beginning of the game? So this game, or the song, sounds like something you'd hear on the radio or something, but it's like a deep cut, like one of those radio bands, like Stained or maybe Stained. That's not who I'm exactly thinking of. I don't know. I don't really listen to the radio, so I don't really know. And my voice is kind of giving out now, so I probably should get some sleep soon because I got to work in a couple hours. I don't know why I decided to go on this huge recording spree, but I'm kind of glad I did because now we got this all out of the way. We can start doing another project and etc. So I, I like I said, you guys, I'm so happy that we're done with this, and not because we're done, but because we got we we've completed. Oh, there we go again with the controller dying. Well, not dying, but. Because we're done with uh, this project and we've completed it. I'm proud of it despite the shortcomings. That's what makes it so unique is that it's not perfect, I guess. You know, I mean, if it was perfect, then it wouldn't even be enjoyable to watch for some people. Because it, it'd be such a contrast to what some people would expect that it just wouldn't be all that great. So, I don't know. 
Um, I'm still I'm still basically where I was 10 episodes ago on the front of new projects. So basically, my goodbyes were already said. <laughs> I guess the goodbye segment. I don't know when I always tell everyone all oh, goodbye. <laughs> We already showed off all the achievements. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing another Suda51 game for a while. I'm just saying uh, the only other one I would probably be doing at this point would be Killer7. And I'm not exactly looking to do that right now. So it's going to be a little bit creepy for me. I don't, I don't know. I, I'd have to record a lot of it at night. And I'm kind of freaked out by that game. As you guys recall, I've talked about it over the months and almost years now. Well, I guess like a year and a half is where last May is when I uploaded those Prince of Persia videos. Yeah. But then I did Dead Space like in 2009, like in November and December of 2009. But, uh, yeah. It kind of sounds like Evanescence, actually. Or maybe it's just the woman's voice. But then we got the sweet-ass guitar. Guitar. God, I, I need to go to bed soon. The guitar solo. Uh, and then we've got all these names and the names of people who slept with some of the developers and they felt obligated to put it in because they gave good head but now with the ending note of powered by unreal technology camera and lenses even though it's in a video game i guess scale form scale form name scale form logo or registered trademarks blah 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 bink 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 <laughs> bink video oh man rad game tools and then dolby digital we know about all about you and then convex deposition oh decomposition <laughs> So, chats, god, I can't even read these, I'm tired. So, OGG Vorbis Audio Conversion, I don't know what that is. And all these, I'm such a, I'm such a fool for you. <laughs> oh, excuse me, an efficient paramedic algorithm for octree transversal, whatever. MP3 layer. Uh, this product may include in game sponsorship of pro or product license? Not really. <laughs> Filmed on location in Fleming's Underworld National Park, Hell, from October 2009 to March 2011. Dear scenes filmed at Grasshopper Manufacturer Studios, Tokyo, Japan. The producer and director would like to thank Mr. Fleming, the Ministry of Internal Affairs and Ministry of Culture, for their precious support, cooperating, and understanding. No demons were hard. Uh, George's horse got sick and somebody shot it. Should go ahead with that. It's a Dillman's film in the natural environment, respect to the underworld issue, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Any reference to existing demons at demons, places, names, events, pre coincidence should be considered work of fiction. Now, the best part of the game for some people. Coming up right here, one of my favorite scenes, probably my favorite scene also, but I'm going to shut up let you guys enjoy the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful ending amazingness by the Shadows of the Damned. What? 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 What's our life? Demon keeps dreaming of a demon town. Motherfucker, bitch, fuck, shit went down. Fleming's got an itch, scratch it with a bitch. Demon keeps dreaming of a demon town. Ooh, Johnson, that's my name. Big penis, that's my game. Johnson, yeah, Johnson, ooh, Johnson, everywhere, yeah. Motherfucker, bitch, fuck, shit went down. Ha, ha, in the darkness, we shall have fun. Talk about my Johnson, talk about my bum. Talk about my thighs, they're really good in size. Oh my goodness, I can't believe my eyes, cause Fleming's got an itch. Scratch it with a bitch. Demon keeps dreaming of a demon town. Motherfucker, bitch, cock, cunt went down with a demon, demon town. Yes, 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 yes. I love that scene. Every time I see that, I just cannot. I just cannot have a not smile on my face when watching that. But ladies and gentlemen, we are finished with Shadows of the Damned 100%. Oh man, so as you can tell, I'll just show my stuff off really fast. All right, so my first playthrough when I was just pressing pause and shit was just 15 hours for whatever reason. I think I just fell asleep with it on once. And then here is my prior playthrough, which was on medium and we beat that in seven hours and 13 minutes. And then my most recent one, seven hours and 30 minutes and that's not too bad considering i was kind of speed running through this one so we made great time you guys seven and a half hours man but you guys we're done with this game we're done for good there's going to be no continuation of this unless there's dlc which i highly doubt but anyway like i've said so many times before thank you so much for watching i love you guys all so much i say that in a total non-homosexual way of course i mean there's nothing more i like seeing then your guys's i guess yeah spiritual support and whatnot and watching my videos and liking them because you guys are just incredible and i'm glad that i can entertain you that i cater to your personal interests and in what you want to hear maybe i don't know i still gotta edit through this shit fuck of cunts and 
let's see what we got to deal with here because I still haven't checked that corrupted recording yet. But um, anyway, like I said, you guys, I love you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I can't wait to see you in my next project, which I still don't know what I'm going to do yet, which I probably already started uploading at this point. But um, until then, hope to see you guys next time on my next video. Love you guys. This is Allison Cruz, and I will talk to you guys later.